everyone. So today we have the placement talk. We have our ex student Sai who have recently got the offer from AMD. So Sai, we will start with your introduction from where you have done the B tech or M tech, what you have done in the exhibition background. You can start with the introduction. Sure. Uh, thank you, sir. So as a uh... Sir mentioned, my name is uh, Sai Sanket. So I have done my B.Tech in, uh, it's a private college, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, it's in Hyderabad. And uh, during my uh, final year, I've prepared GATE. I was preparing for GATE and uh, uh, currently, uh, uh, right now, I'm doing my M.Tech in NIT Warangal. And also, uh, I've got the offer from AMD. Great. So in which profile you have got the offer from AMD? It's sir uh, DFT DV. DFT. Right, so we we do design verification for uh, DFT block, DFT Great. architecture. So how you uh, so in B Tech and M Tech uh, there is about some gap or not? Like how you prepare for the gate? Was there for uh, some gap? Yeah, actually there is no gap. Uh, okay. uh, right after complete, uh, right after completion of my B Tech, uh, um, I got admitted into M Tech. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Uh, so how is the beat your touch is VLSA, right? Uh, in NIT uh, uh, so actually in, in MTech, uh, in NIT Varangal MTech, my branch is advanced communication systems. Okay. Whatever companies came uh, for VLSA profile, like uh, they don't discriminate uh, whether you are from communication, whether right. you are from embedded, they'll take from us. Like uh, if it's for front end uh, roles, They'll take from com even communication also. For backend, they might prefer only. Yeah, backend is special are needed. Yeah. So yeah. how is the branch like? Uh, it is new branch or like uh, it is going from years. In this course. It's going. It's going from years. Great, great, great. So yeah. So how you prepare for the gate exam? Like, uh, was there some some coaching or like self study, and how you manage yeah. the college? So actually, I've completely uh, managed through self-study, following YouTube videos. Well, actually, uh, uh, the lucky thing I wa it was that uh, I prepared in Corona time. So in Corona time, I have got ample of time to prepare it. Mm -hmm. so, so that helped me. Great. Yeah. So how is the cutoff for this branch in NIT Warangal? Like, uh, what is the expected cutoff? Expected cutoff. Uh, actually, uh, when I was uh, applying for uh, through when I was applying to CCMT, the cutoff I expected was 500, 500 gate score. But uh, from coming to uh, my uh, admission year, it the cutoff went to 400. Till come till final round, it went to 400 gate score. So it is completely worth it gate... to check this branch in an right? Yeah. Companies are aligned. Right. Yeah, yeah, you can continue. Yeah, so yeah, like that's how I prepared for my gate, and uh, yeah, although so, uh, so before uh, 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 before getting admission into communication branch in Ante Warangal, so I gather all the information like uh, whether communication students can sit in uh, uh, VLSI companies or not. So uh, before getting admission, I have gathered all the information. So yeah, great, great. So, how is the selection process for AMD? Like, for how many rounds were there? And so, actually, test. yeah, so actually, there is no uh, written test and, and online test. Mm -hmm. So, they'll shortlist based on a resume. Resume. Yeah, based on resume, they'll shortlist, and after that, there will be two technical interview rounds. Okay. So, two technical rounds, and each round will be minimum one hour. Okay, one hour means two hours interview you have given in total. Yeah, it will be two hours. So two persons will take our interview, so it will be two hours. So uh, shortlisting criteria was percentage and the projects, right? Mainly two pro two criteria. Are there. Yeah, yeah, based on the our uh, academics, uh, like academic percentage uh, and uh, resume. Uh, yeah, since AMD came to, uh, uh, it's it was an on campus hiring, so uh, they cut their uh, their cut their cut off was very less. Yeah, like they have six CGPS cut off, but off campus, uh, may, because on uh, off campus they'll mention more CGPS yeah. cut off. Minimum seven. Yeah, uh, minimum seven they'll mention. So what 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 were the main topics 
in which uh, they have focused on the interview like just a topic names yeah so mostly it will be obviously digital electronics is the basic of all and uh, very long they have asked i can they have asked from computer organization architecture some microprocessor microcontrollers uh, uh very log some cmos vlsi mm-hmm. and cmos vlsi basics so that's it yeah and okay. some like a basics of system very log system very log basics okay. basics like you know you say like data types data types that's it mm-hmm. system very log data types right? yeah. yeah they have asked about the architecture also of system very log test bench architecture test bench no they didn't ask okay fine so how because, you could... uh, continue continue so uh, like after i went in team day so i realized that they'll ask the interview based upon the profile which they are hiring mm-hmm. like yeah like if uh, if their uh, uh, profile requires intense system very log skills then for sure they'll ask this system very log exactly yeah that's how it will be like the, as i mentioned if it comes for back end profile no surely they last the pd, PD and all those stuff yeah. yeah yeah uh so how many projects you have done in total in amtech so in amtech i have done some uh, six to seven projects i have done uh, one in cadence and rest in very log very yeah. so yeah. how you got to know about vlsi for all like uh, it was through some youtube channel or some brand or linkedin yeah actually it was through youtube only great okay uh, so which course you enrolled in the vlsi for all so i have enrolled uh, design verification rtl and verification yeah great yes, so how yes, is the yes. course structure and uh, how you manage with your college studies how is the course structure and teachers and how you manage the course with your college studies how many hours you have given yeah so uh, when i went through the course curriculum So, so when I saw the course curriculum, uh, it was like completely no. It was a complete structure. It's a complete like uh, you know you know need to learn extra from outside. Exactly. Yeah. If you if you you know if you go through that, it, that's it will be fine. And coming to you know yeah some coming to the live lectures yeah that it it was certain difficult because uh, uh, even in morning time sometimes in afternoon time I'll be in college yeah I'll be in college so. Uh, it has it it caused him some trouble, but uh, no, you have also provided recording uh, exactly videos, all the right? recordings. So yeah, yeah, so all recording videos. So that helped me a lot. Okay. Even in my leisure time, I I have gone through those videos. That helped me actually. Yeah. So how many hours you have given with your college studies to the coursework? Uh, exactly hours. I don't know. Like uh, whenever I was free. or whenever in the weekends the weekends i spend lot of time great, great, great. during weekends i spend lot of time yeah and what is the ideal uh, ideal time to enroll for the vlsi for all course uh, so it is first year first I semester or like second semester third semester what is the ideal time so um, ideal time i would say it will be if you take in first semester first sem that would be better Get because in second term companies companies will become companies right, so we won't get internship exactly so we we won't get that much time to prepare yeah, yeah. oh how is the teachers at vlsf for all like uh, are they working experts uh, they have good knowledge in it so yeah like i have, uh, as i said like uh, uh, i follow most of the recording videos right? so most of most of them are you know working professionals so you'll get directly you'll get the industrial exposure Yes. Like yes. What uh, you know? So while while they are ex- explaining or teaching, right? Uh, they they'll they'll know stress certain topics. So Great. with that, we'll understand these are certain important topics that will be used in industry. Great. Great. Uh, so how is the BLSI for all job group? Like uh, how frequently we are sharing the jobs in the group? So yeah, the job that's uh, that's a good thing actually. You know. Uh, Uh, as is now you know that market is very down but still you know you're sharing jobs and you know you're talking to the uh, uh, some of the employees in the company yeah that's a good thing actually i liked it mm-hmm. and do you have given any mock interviews with us 
actually uh, i thought to give mock interview but you know uh, uh, even before i gave the mock interview i selected in md so great, great. <laughs> i didn't get any chance <laughs> okay fine uh, so how, according to you mock interviews are like good for you a student or not yeah, actually yeah actually it's a mock interview so it obviously it will be a uh, very helpful because you know yes. directly giving the actual interview you know, we'll get very nervous so mm-hmm. if you give mock interview right so it'll be it's a kind of practice yeah, yeah. before getting into actual actual you know what yes 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 so how is the fees is structured at vlsf like, for all is it affordable uh, and uh, like yeah actually it's actually it's, yeah so actually it is very affordable uh, it's it's not like you know we don't have to pay uh, um, the complete amount at a, at a time yeah you know we can yeah we can have installments and so that helps me actually yeah great uh, so uh, already you are from nit so the student does must be saying that you are from already nit so why you have taken the course so uh, so if one student have taken the vlsf for all course and one student have not vlsf for all course or any other coaching institute course so okay. what advantage with a student have nit student have vlsf course and what Disadvantage they are facing if they don't have the course. So uh, one thing, uh, if you are, uh, say I'm from uh, communication background, okay. So obviously I don't have that much of knowledge uh, of the VLSI, so I have to take, okay. But there are certain people who from communication who didn't took any coaching, but obviously they crack the internship offer, whatever offer. But the thing is. Uh, as i said i have gone through this uh, course you no know, i have more knowledge compared to them exactly that's that's one thing i need and coming to uh, yeah coming to for those people who are uh, studying vlsi in vlsi course in nit varangal there there they learn both front end and back end both thing not much depth yeah not, not i mean not much depth in the sense it will be you no know, uh, See, taking course from VLSI for all, they'll teach from industrial level. Exactly. They teach industry standards. But coming to college course, no, it won't be like, you know, what industries are using. It's like, you know, uh, curriculum coursework thing. Yeah. Uh, so that's a difference. Yeah. Uh, so how many ratings you will be giving to the VLSI for all out of five? So, yeah, out of five, I'll be giving 4.8. Great. Okay. Uh, so, any tips for your juniors, like who are struggling right now in the recession time? Because there are a lot of NIT students, in even IIT students, who are struggling because of the recession. So, any tips yeah. for them? I would say you no. Know, just uh, be patient because uh, after recession, obviously there will be you no know, lot of offers will be coming. Exactly. But this time, yeah. So during this time, the one thing we can have, we can have is. learn more and more skills as much as possible both learn both front end and back end skills both yeah because uh, you know like in, in india also semiconductor industry will be coming already started actually so there will be a, in future there will be lot of boom actually in the india so yeah just wait for some time yeah exactly be patient yeah yeah um, so any tips for the student at the end or like you want to say something about uh, anything you want to say in the end just uh only one thing i need to say just don't buy hard the concepts yeah yeah you have like, to do uh, one, yeah one thing the one thing i observed if uh, if i if i have done any project i need to have complete knowledge over it exactly complete knowledge that thing and yeah this i need to mention so one thing i have observed while giving the interview so interviews are more interested memory based projects like uh, 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 fifo um, you know 2ls ram mm-hmm. like this kind of yeah, yeah. so they were FIFO more interested in memory i think fifo is very yeah. important asynchronous fifo synchronous fifo that is very important yes, yes. Yeah. so like uh, interviews they were they were more interested so whenever i mentioned uh, memory related projects so they directly jumped into like what is this what you have done you know all the all the memory projects only exactly and we already know the questions what they will ask the question that is yes. yes 
यस 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 स्ट्रेट पॉइंटर राइट पॉइंटर पीपल डेप ओके साइंस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम थैंक यू ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर दीपी थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू